Hello, this is Mike DeBrunt with SBAR Heaters. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of troubleshooting, the removal and replacement of a blower motor on an Airtronic D2 heater. The first thing for the blower motor, the heater must be removed from the vehicle. The base of the heater has exhaust, intake, fuel line, and four nuts that hold it down to the floor, depending on the truck. Some trucks have a plate and you can remove the plate. Once you remove it from the truck, you'll remove the inlet cap. The hood, there are two latches, and the hood will come off. You'll want to remove the end cap. You can use a regular screwdriver. There's a slot. And pull the hood off. At that point in time, we're going to need to remove the ECU. To remove the ECU, I'll take a T20 Torx, remove the screw out of the ECU, pinch the two tabs on the ECU, lift it. There's a grommet on the side. Slide that grommet out. When you rotate your ECU over, you can unplug all the components from the ECU. These are all keyed and they only go one way. Set your ECU aside. Now that the ECU is off, you can remove the base gasket. And the heater will remove out of the shell. At this point in time, there are four screws that are T20 Torx. and you can remove the old fan. There is also a fan gasket. The fan gasket should be replaced every time you replace the fan. Just as a side note, you're now looking at the burner chamber and you noticed the green thermal insulator under the burner chamber. It will be cracked. That is normal and not a concern. If you remove the burner chamber, you must have a gasket to replace it with or a thermal insulator to replace it with. You take your new fan out of the protected case. Replace your gasket with a new one. Place the fan on. Replace the four screws. I snug them down evenly. and then tighten them. At this point in time, you can set the heater back in its shell. 
put the base gasket back on. Place the end cap on. At this point in time, you're ready to replace the ECU. The fan, plug, everything is keyed, so it should go in its proper place. If it doesn't feel like it's going in its proper place, it's probably not. The blue plug goes towards the ECU harness. The green plug goes towards the ceramic igniter plug. The ECU harness is laying over the wires for the components. There's a tab on the back side for the wires to be held back by. This will help hold the wires out of the way as you place the ECU back down in the truck. Into the heater. Place the ECU down, the tabs lock, the screw is then reinserted and snugged down. The grommet for the harness goes in one way. If it is not in properly, the hood will not close. The hood slides on, the tabs lock, the inlet grill is attached to keep fingers and debris out of the combustion air fan and heating air fan, and you reinsert it in the truck. Thank you very much.